as an African father, you know, we always, you don't want your son to be a doctor, a lawyer. Your whole journey is a risk. No matter how many movies you've done, you still have to go on this and you still prove yourself. He is focused on so many things right now that I just, he's on the brink of greatness. With the freshest kids, see how we do with Ned. People, how it is we live. Cause we the freshest kids. Come kick it with the freshest kids. See how we do with Ned. People, how it is we live. Cause we the freshest kids. Cause we the freshest kids. The fuck the freshest kids. The fuck the freshest kids. Yo, I came here to jam okay. We go party all night Hope you came with your fam Bring your girls and your crew Cause the bar's on me You see me on the runway Oh yeah, BET So now we take it worldwide When we come to your town Future stars be my click And we the dopest around So yo, get on the dance floor And let me see what you got What's up guys, it's actor, supermodel, television host, and rapper, and you're watching my favorite show. Stay tuned. My experience living in Ghana was incredible. You know, um, in Ghana we were super rich. We lived in a big mansion. We had uh, maids, drivers, and everything. So I lived there from about the time I was four until I was about seven or eight, and then I moved to London. I was originally born in London. Lived in London till I was four, moved to Ghana from four to eight, and back to London till I was 13, and now I've been, America, I've been in America ever since. But one thing I remember being in Ghana, we lived so good, and then we moved to London. And I was about seven years old, and we moved into this small apartment, and I was like, Dad, I asked my dad one day, I said, Dad, what happened to all the stuff that we had in Ghana? And my dad said, oh, son, don't worry. I'm waiting for them to ship all our money to London and then we'll be living the same way. And guess what? Two years later, we were still living in the same apartment. So obviously, London was a little bit more expensive, but my parents built their way up. We moved out of the little apartment and then we moved into like a very nice place. But that's one of my favorite Ghana stories. Growing up in the UK was really cool because besides my friends, I also had a lot of cousins that lived within the area. So we all went to the same school. My sister went to the school, so it was great. I mean, I loved the UK. You know, I had all kind of diverse friends, black, white, Chinese, Indian, everything. So it, it was great for me. I have nothing but good experiences uh, growing up in the UK. It was a very good time in my life. Growing up in the UK definitely did shape my personality. You know, I've been in America a long time, and even when people meet me now, the way I dress, the way I talk, my whole vibe, people always say they can tell I'm from the East Coast, but most people usually think I'm from New York. And then I tell them London, and they're like, oh, real, you real East Coast. That's another level, <laughs> East Coast, in UK. So without a doubt, growing up in the UK shaped me to be the Sam Star Farm that I am today. Being an African and your, your, your son or your kids, your father had two kids that both told them they wanted to do entertainment. Anybody that's watching this right now that's African knows, that's like that a white kid telling their parents, I want to be a serial killer. Like It's like in the African community, you don't go into entertainment. It just doesn't happen. As an African father, you know we always, you don't want your son to be a doctor, a lawyer. I myself was a banker. I've been a banker all my life, you know. I've held position in higher management position in the Bank of Ghana, Bank for Housing, Wells Fargo Bank in California, and so on and so forth. I was growing up, I always say that, you know, you could look at people on TV. I looked at Will Smith, I looked at LL Cool J, and they, those were my role models, but I don't know LL Cool J, I don't know Will Smith. So the role models started right in my home, which was my dad and my mom, you know, and especially my dad, because he was a very strict father. But as I got older, I understood why he was strict, because I see how my sister June was the biggest presenter in the UK, and me now, I see how we've all turned out. And, and that's, you know, the 
there's a reason for everything in life and that, you know, sometimes you don't know it at the time, but as I've gotten older, my father and I have even become way closer. For quite a while, I would watch him at home. He would uh, sit in front of television, take a little camera and pretend like he's a reporter, you know, interviewing people and asking questions and then asking, you know, answering these questions. He got his first job in junior high school when Levi Strauss came to the school to interview over 3,000 kids. And fortunately, he was the fair kid that was selected. So once I saw that he was very serious with it, then I, I began sending him to some of the uh, prestigious acting schools in California.